You're watching Fox 23 News Daybreak. The time now, 744. Big news for breast cancer patients. We told you last week the FDA just approved a new drug to fight breast cancer. Here to talk more about this advancement, Dr. Jack from Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Thanks so much for coming in. You've brought in props like you always do. The new drug is called Cadzilla. Yes. And this is big stuff. Very important stuff. It's the newest technology in the war against cancer. Um, it's very fascinating because it's a combination of two things, an antibody and a drug. So this is the latest technology because what it allows us to do is to be able to target cancer cells specifically. And you're going to show us how that works with these props. Yes. So if you think of cancer uh, as having a, a cancer cell as having a homing signal, then the target itself is targeted by a, an antibody called, which goes against HER2, and the antibody is attached to a drug. Now, the difference between this and other chemotherapeutic agents is that the target in itself can be brought internally. So think of this as, a, as the weapon that, becomes, that uh, gets taken internally by the cancerous cell. And once inside, then it detonates. So rather than detonating on the outside of the cancer cell, destroying the surrounding tissues, this goes into the cell, releasing the payload which then only destroys the particular cell, which is malignant. And this is huge because chemotherapy for years has been an effective way to fight cancer, but so many side effects. It makes cancer patients so sick. It does. And because of this targeted nature, this medication, this therapy, is able to destroy specifically cancer cells, sparing surrounding tissue. Tell me about that HER2 positive breast cancer. What type of cancer is that? How common is it? Mm -hmm. So about 20% of patients with breast cancer do have a HER2 expression. So think of cancer cells as having switches which activate or inactivate the disease. And HER2 is one signaling pathway which is expressed on the outside of the cell. Now, different cells have different receptors, different surface, surface markers and so on. And estrogen and progesterone are two other markers as well. This targets specifically HER2. So HER2 is a type of switch that activates or inactivates the cell. So the FDA has approved Cadcilla for HER2 positive breast cancer. Yes. Could it be approved to fight other types of cancers? Absolutely, down the road. But the thing is, right now, uh, it's only approved for breast cancer, but gastric cancer also expresses this, and as well as esophageal cancer. So we're hoping and keeping our fingers crossed that maybe one day this can be applied to those other diseases as well. Have you been involved in any of the trials? Have you had any patients who've taken or used Cadcilla? Um, not yet, but we're hoping to have them treated with this within the next couple of weeks. And obviously you've seen all the research and these patients don't have the side effects that you traditionally get from chemotherapy? Not traditionally because the side effects are uh, minimized because the therapy is brought into the cell itself. And that's the biggest difference in this, is bringing the therapy inside of the cell, delivering the payload and destroying the, the disease from within rather than treating everything, destroying the external tissues. This could be huge news for I cancer think it, patients. it is for many patients. Exciting yes. developments. Dr. Jack, thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate it. Cancer Treatment Centers of America has a special offer for you, our Fox 23 viewers, a free subscription to the quarterly magazine Cancer Fighters Thrive. Just go to fox23.com, click on the Fox box and search Cancer Fighters Thrive to sign up.